Hey there guys and welcome back to the channel. As always, thank you so much for clicking on this video and being here. So we're going to be diving into the realm of fantasy and talking about the live action Masters of the Universe movie and an update and when we can expect to actually see this movie on the big screen. So let's take a look at this article. It comes to us from comicflicknews.com. Masters of the Universe live action movie reveals major change to He-Man's origin and it's set for 2026 release. So this is great news to hear. We actually have a release date set or a release window, if you like, in 2026. So it's still a good two years away or so. So there's still quite a long time to wait for fans of this franchise. But the fact that we have a release date is exciting news. This movie is actually tangible. It's actually going to be coming out at some point. It's not just kind of an idea off in the mythos, you know, that might happen. Having a release date means that they're actually going to have it made, which is great. But let's go down and let's read and let's see what's going on with the development of this movie. So after years of development limbo, the live action reboot of Masters of the Universe is finally gearing up for production. There's going to be so many fans all around the world that are going to be so pleased to hear this news. Masters of the Universe is such a great franchise and there's so many people like me who grew up in the 90s collecting the toys, you know, playing with Masters of the Universe action figures and stuff like that. And you know, it's just nostalgia and fond memories of kind of diving into that universe as a kid. So, originally slated for Netflix adaptation in 2022, the project faced multiple setbacks, with recent news indicating another failed attempt to kickstart the beloved animated series. Yeah, so for those of you who have followed the, you know, the kind of the updates around this production, it was going to start off in Netflix, but now it's been picked up by Amazon. So it's kind of been in development limbo, like it says here in the article, it's kind of been passed around. It's kind of been on and then it's been off and then it's been on. It's kind of been all over the place, but now with a set release date, things are actually moving forward. So, however, hope reignited when Amazon and MGM Studios acquired the rights with acclaimed director Travis Knight, known for Bumblebee, in talks to lead the project. Now it's official, Knight has signed on, and the movie is slated for June 5th, 2026 release. Yeah, so, like I said, we have um, a good couple of, couple of years or so until this movie comes out, so we still have quite a long wait. But, you know, it's worth waiting to get this kind of magnitude of a project on the big screen, because... Diving into the world of Master of the Universe, for me, it's a kind of a cheesy, um, I would say it's kind of a cheesy franchise or a cheesy IP to some degree, that kind of 90s, 80s or 90s kind of feel to it. But um, if it's done right, I think it could look incredible, especially with the most up-to-date CGI, um, you know, with Battle Cat and, uh, you know, just everything like that. Eternia, the world of Eternia, look at, seeing what that looks like in up-to-date CGI, I think will just be insane to see on the big screen. So Chris Butler took over script, uh, script writing duties from David Callahan, Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings. That's absolutely incredible Marvel film as well, so that gives me quite a lot of confidence. With, knee, uh, with the Knee Brothers, The Lost City previously attached to direct. Oh yeah, and the fact that I wanted to say as well guys, um, directed Travis Knight. Obviously, um, like it says here, he did Bumblebee, which was one of the better movies within the Transformers franchise. So that gives a lot of confidence to this project as well. Travis Knight, he's a fantastic director, and I'm sure he's going to do a great job, you know, leading into this um, Masters of the Universe franchise. So along, uh, alongside this update, a revised synopsis hints at a significant departure from the original lore, promising an intriguing new take on the iconic tale. See, this is where a lot of fans are nervous. I've spoken to people about this recently, and I've seen it on other podcasts and shows. People talking about this, saying that they're nervous about the you know, they, they have, um, they're nervous about the movie taking place on Earth rather than Eternia. And, uh... and it's imperative. Speaking of the Dolph Lundgren movie, don't bring them to Earth. Don't bring them to Earth. Yeah, don't. I, I, I don't want to see He-Man and Man-at-Arms and Manny faces and, and, and whatever and Evil Man. And and I don't want to see them on Earth. Have it on Eternia. Just, that's where He-Man is supposed to be. That's where the story takes place have it there guys and, um you know kind of taking away from the law in that respect so um we'll have to see um if it does take place on earth i think it's only going to be the first act or the first sort of like 20 30 minutes hopefully and then the rest of it takes place on eternia um hopefully that's how it pans out but we'll have to wait and see so uh we have some uh, artwork here that i put in which i think is pretty cool again that kind of really awesome um artwork that you've come to expect when you think of masters of the universe um obviously he-man here with his uh with his shield and his sword and then we've got battle cat as well and then we've got um the castle in the background with the iconic kind of skull on the front door 
really really cool really awesome seeing this in you know the latest kind of cgi look i think would be incredible having battle cat in there i would love to see some scenes with battle cat like shredding people to pieces just ripping limbs off i think it would be hilarious but um who are they going to get to play he-man that's the big question who could you think of in hollywood who's an actor who could take on the look of he-man potentially alan richen that's a big name that's getting thrown around at the moment because that guy is jacked as hell um but yeah i don't know who could play he-man because he's such a big jacked character i mean i guess you could cgi muscles but that would look ridiculous <laughs> um but guys let me know if you had to pick an actor um to fulfill this role you know who would you choose jump down in the comment section and let me know so the story follows a 10 year old prince adam who crashed to earth in a spaceship and was separated from his magical power sword the only link to his home on eternia after tracking it down almost two decades later prince adam is whisked back across space to defend his home planet against the evil forces of skeletor Again, I can't wait to see what they're going to do with Skeletor, man. you got to make this guy look really intimidating, really scary. Like, go the proper horror route with Skeletor and make the guy look intimidating, imposing, like a shit your pants. I do not want to mess with that guy. That's what they need to do with Skeletor. Make the guy look badass. Um, but to defeat such a powerful villain, Prince Adam will uh, first need to uncover the mysteries of his past and become He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. So, Prince Adam's origin has been portrayed in various ways across animated shows and comic books. However, this upcoming adaptation marks a significant departure, as it depicts the character growing up on Earth before returning to Eternia as an adult. So yeah, there's going to be um, a part of the movie, like I said before, where it's going to be taking place on Earth. And that has a lot of people um, in movie circles kind of a bit nervous, the fact that a lot of the movie is going to take place on Earth in order to save on the budget. Um, but hopefully only the first act or the first half an hour or so is on Earth and then the rest is on Eternia. I'm sure they're going to realise that fans are going to want the majority of the movie on Eternia. So hopefully they, uh, hopefully they do that. Returning to Eternia as an adult, uh, this narrative twist is a fresh approach, diverging from previous iterations. Though it's worth noting that the 80s live action movie starring Dolph Lundgren did have a primary focus on Earth. Yeah, but that was probably due to, you know, CGI and budget restraints and stuff like that. But Dolph Lundgren and the um, that He-Man movie, man, it's like one of the worst movies ever, but it's so great. And so many people have so many fond memories of just watching that movie. It's just, you know, it goes down in the in the pop culture zeitgeist as one of the, the worst, best movies there is, if that even makes sense. <laughs> so, um, Kai Allen, known for his role in West Side Story, was initially set to portray He-Man in the upcoming film. However, recent reports suggest a different actor uh, might take on the role, might take on the iconic role. So this was the guy here, Kai Allen. He was going to take on He-Man. I have no idea. No, no disrespect to this actor whatsoever, but he looks nothing like He-Man. He has this guy ha doesn't have the build, the muscle. Like not, he's not in any way, shape, or form similar to what you would expect a He-Man to look like when it comes to you know how built the character is. So how was he going to pull off a He-Man character? I have no idea how that was going to work. Um, pfft, CGI muscles, a muscle suit. Um, was he going to go to the gym for two years straight and get jacked as hell? I mean, <laughs> I have no idea. But guys, if you if you figure out a way of how this guy would have played He-Man, let me know if there's something that I'm missing here. So produced by uh, Top Black, Jason uh, Blumenthal and Steve Tisch. Sorry if I butchered those names and Devon Franklin, the project underwent significant development under Netflix, with nearly 30 million invested over two years, despite efforts to manage the budget, originally exceeding 200 million. Again, guys, we keep talking about this on the channel, spending spending 200 million dollars on a movie is far too much money, it's ridiculous. And then these movie studios wonder why they can't make returns on their investment, because they're spending this ridiculous amount on a movie. So you've got 200 million on the movie, on the production, and then you've got another 50, 60 million on, mar like on marketing on top. So your budget is gonna be around 250, 260 million. So in order to recoup that, you've gotta make like 350, 400 million just to break even, which is kind of crazy. Uh, Netflix ultimately opted to withdraw from the project due to challenges in substantial cost reduction. It's crazy though, isn't it? So they 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 believe that 200 million on a Masters of the Universe is too much. 
but then they go and spend 200 million on a movie like the gray man or you know some kind of obscure kind of crappy movie that they put a celebrity in they'll spend 200 million on that but they won't spend 200 million on a massive franchise like this so it's kind of strange how they make the decisions behind which movies to fund and not but um that's another conversation for another day so obviously we have the Master of the Universe trailer here with Dolph Lundgren in it. Again, one of the best, worst movies you'll ever watch. If Guys, if you've never seen this movie, do check it out. It's, it's hilariously bad, but it's so good and it's so nostalgic and fun at the same time. I do recommend checking it out if you like Masters of the Universe. But then again, if you like Masters of the Universe, obviously you probably would have seen it by, at this point by now anyway. So all you need to know is you have He-Man. He's a jacked guy with a sword and a shield. He has a gigantic tiger that he rides into battle. And this character Skeletor, um, the evil guy, looks like a skeleton, and they fight each other on this Eternia planet, magical planet. That's kind of how it, how you sum it up. It's kind of cheesy fantasy, but it's really awesome and it's really cool. And a franchise like this is absolutely ripe to be made into a live action movie. It would be all kinds of insane with the latest CGI. And uh, guys, I'm so here for it. But it's going to come down to who are they going to cast as He-Man? I have no idea. Trying to think off the top of my head, I really don't know who they could cast in this role. Because the guy is jacked, he has a certain look to him, and uh, there's not many actors within Hollywood who look like He-Man, like in terms of how big you need to be. So it boggles my mind. But guys, jump into the comment section. Let me know what you think about this. Are you interested in a Masters of the Universe movie coming in 2026 from Amazon? And if you had to choose a celebrity in Hollywood to fulfill the role of he-man who would you choose do you think there's any good actors out there let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section below guys as always thank you so much for being here hit that like and subscribe if you enjoy my content and for more videos and i will see you soon